welcome my lovely dears to another fantabulous session of the western chivalrics it's always sunny in justice idiot though wow rude well it's usually sunny at least when last we left off our heroes uh met a whole bunch of hoppies after making the rest of their way through the uh, drowning caves. As they filled up with the high tide, they rushed their way to the very end. Clambered on up and found the laboratory of one Morgan and Spiris. Discovering in one fell swoop both that Tristan has a couple of very big older sisters. Uh, and puddles and puddles of, like, great-great-great-grand nieces. Many, many harpy. Dragon so harpy, many harpy specific. Many fluffles and head pats and milkies. Well, the milkies was this person here, but, you know, the fluffles and the head pats were great. They oh, are so the for cat. being warm and soft and chirping. And anti anti brooding operations. No, a dark night. No, fluffy hugs. The place you chose to go and brood was with your in a room with a bunch of your great nieces, so you couldn't even brood properly because you were holding the softest bab. You're so precious. Yep. And they all grow up into these ones. Very barely dragon harpies. They get a feature at level 5. Need more giganto harpies. Quite frankly. Well, you got that dragon blood. You could probably try and figure out your mother's experiments and crank the rest of them back up to the same level of turnt. But uh, I also don't think you're prepared to live birth eggs. I mean... Look, somebody here has a body basically made for gigantic eggs. This Just saying. That's, that's fair. Occupied. Yeah, the other one is occupied, the moo. But this hoss, yeah, could probably pack so much egg. Just like a Just full like dozen, egg. at least. Mm. Uh, but the moment, the very moment we exactly left off, on is uh, Cass holding up the sealed Deck of Many Things card of The Fool. And surprising and unsurprising in its own unique way, both members of the Order of the Fairy Queen attempt to snatch up the card to use it. Uh, so this session begins with initiative. Pets, Hedra. Yes. Whoever is first gets the card. Okay, okay. Somebody with really high initiative. Oh, oh Tiana! That's Tiana right. sets the ball very high. Yeah. I forgot to click my token. <laughs> well, it's fine. It's only the two of you. Yeah, okay. I'll well, Bob, let's be here. You gotta beat 19. I need a fucking 20 on this, so... Oh. Yeah, I will spend it. And... <laughs> That'll be a no. And a no. Oh. No, Tiana is so much faster than the Shota. In fact, she's just taller. She just grabs the card. Just holds it up over your head. Yep. Now. We're actually the same height. <laughs> You're right, actually. It's true. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, but you do a kitty bounce and grab it. Yeah. And then you, when you come back down, your moment. boobs just crush Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then Bob is annihilated. Just gives him uh, two black eyes. It was like trying to uh, get the fucking first tap in a game of basketball. She was holding up the card. Both of you leapt, uh, except uh, poor Bob got wiped out. Yep. So I got to reset my experience to zero. Not to zero. Uh, not to zero. Or not? No, I meant to the minimum for this level. Correct. Uh, 
So I think it's a hundred or something. I don't think it's a hundred. I think it's like one fifteen. No, it's a hundred. That's a hundred. Oh, that's a lot of XP you're getting. Yeah, yeah. So Tiana ditches all the way back down to a hundred out of one hundred and thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah, but there's Katira in exists. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Not for her. Oof. Can't can't just experience train away this shit. No, I'm afraid not. Oof. Very oof. Well, I, if I would make it that easy. Are you uh, going to unleash the card? I mean, she has no choice. She's taken it. All right. Well, let me just post a. The link decision to the video. has already been made. Yeah. Yep. yep. Cass looks a mixture of horrified and yeah, if everyone would like to select that link all right, to let's the all, YouTubes. Let's all start it at the same time now. Right, I'll so... count you guys in. It's paused. On the three. One, two, click. Okay, here we go. We have all the cards in all their glory. There's Throne and Fool. None of that. These are going bye-bye. And we have the rest of the deck here. Uh, I can't shuffle these and hold the camera at the same time, so one second. Let's put you down. A minute and a half. Jesus, fuck. I had to well, build yeah, suspense. You, like, you had to do the shuffling right. and everything. You can do that before. No, I I had to show the cards and pull out the fool and throne. What? Not being able to shuffle cards one handed, nerd. All right. Here's the deck. Can do one last little baby shuffle here. Cut the deck as you do. And who knows what we'll draw. Oh. What is that? It's a star. star. The, the star. star. Woo. Yay. That's a star. Enjoy Let's your solar incandescence. You get stats plus two. Wow. But not just whatever stats you want. Oh, no. You don't? Uh, thought so it was what does it do? Like no, no, it says increase one of your ability scores by two. It's yeah. one of them. One of them, which it? Scow determined by rolling. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Fitting for a fairy, for a fairy I suppose. Yeah. I mean, that's about as best as you could come out of this with. Now, you know, or, or the experience. <clears throat> yes. A D8 was rolled. The values 1 to 6 representing the 6 core statuses. And the value 7 to 8 meaning you'd get to pick. This is, of course, because you are a fairy. This is random chance. This is fate that you've taken so thoroughly in your hands. Yes. And a dice was rolled. If you will click the little a... Wisdom? Wisdom, no. Ooh. Intelligence. Oh. Intelligence. Intelligence. Oh, cool. So, Tayana, even as you are enwrapped by the sensation of dice tumbling, jesters laughing, incredible awkwardness, you are enwrapped by divine incandescence. You'd swear you can hear Python themselves laugh as your brain grows three wrinkles deeper. <laughs> Actually, two wrinkles, to be fair. Well, yeah, two wrinkles deeper. Yeah, so now you have a whole two wrinkles. I don't know. She had an intelligence modifier of one, so now she's up to three. It's true. Uh, wait, up to three again. No. Uh, four? Four whole wrinkles? Yeah. Four whole wrinkles. For intelligence modifier of two. Congratulations. You are now in oh. 14. Congrats. So you lost all of your experience down to the 100. But you essentially gained a free intelligence ASI. Yeah. It's cool. 
It was the, you were quite lucky, it was basically the least harmful and least overarching of all the cards. Both me and Satan were like, oh, well, okay, fine. Yeah, it was kind of <laughs> underwhelming. Yeah, yeah we're like, oh, uh, all that lead up, but that is kind of how the deck did. I was expecting something like the Skull to appear. Yeah, I was I was just waiting for Bob to get like yote off into interdimensional prison. Yeah. But I was trying like the worst possible scenario of either dungeon or the void. The skull out of both of uh, Skull's kinda yeah, underwhelming I mean, considering. Yeah, yeah, the Avatar deck is actually skull. really weak. Yeah. But yes, even so I will still have the biggest chance to, you know, take least damage from Although... the skull. No, no you don't. You'd take the same damage as anyone else would. You know, yeah, if you I were can... if you were to fight that thing, if you ever if you summoned anything, you would just summon a whole bunch more death avatars. No. Yes, you would. Yes, yes you would. would. That's yes, how, that would. Yes. how that's how it works. works. That's how it works. If you okay. try and create summons to fight them, they create their own death avatars and fight them. Ah, it is okay, a it is well. a one v one. Well, then it would be much easier. Then you just drop the it's called the yes, badge like... uh, totem. It's true. You would almost certainly lose the fight. Regardless, that's not what happened. Yeah. Uh, so this entire time, people have been worrying. I've just been sat here saving, like, oh, fair enough. <laughs> I'm not that worried, honestly. I mean, I'm not worried about. It. I mean, they they chose to draw, uh, draw from the deck. Whatever right. happens, on them. Yeah. It's true. I'm in my piece already. <laughs> you were not punished. Not properly. I still like that you were um, just battling over who gets to become more retarded by a level. Now, I mean, you saw, you saw um, Tiana enraptured by Starlight. I was yeah. already the one with the low experience anyway. Yeah, by one point. Now you're the lowest experience by a considerable margin. <laughs> I know. <laughs> by, tw by 20 foot, well, 23 points, you and Bob go both get one experience because you fought for fate's hand. Uh, you'll get that at the end of the session, of course. That's how we got this this past session. All right, no, you already got it, yeah. Yeah, oh, I was, even I was, more I was trying to argue it should be this session, but you said no, so rip that one yeah. extra hey, I had XP. to play the character anyway. <laughs> so, Hedra, enjoy your one experience. <laughs> Uh, for Tiana. Uh, but still, you, um. It was although intelligence isn't a core skill for you as a sorcerer, as an unlucky Rakshasa, gaining one intelligence is pretty valid, actually, because that could very well be the difference between a skill check making it into the success threshold or not. And also, I'd need it for my, uh, court, for my ability there. Uh, if I want a permanent, uh, spell, I need intelligence. Oh, that is actually built into your one. Oh, I'll be damned. Yeah. yeah that, was a, that was very valid. It would have been worthless on Bob. Yeah. Comparatively. Indeed, I would only have gotten to intelligence 15. Yeah. You'd have gone up to a different odd number, uh, and it would have affected no skills besides nature that you have any training in. I was with my Arcana, Arcana by one. <laughs> Oh, wait, what do you mean nature when I don't have any training in nature? I just that is said that only... you don't, I said that's the only skill, the only intelligence skill you have uh, training in. Oh, I thought don't have. No. Well, yeah. Congrats to Maotians on your, two, on, your, on your free intelligence ASI. Uh, and I suppose that does mean, is that has your threshold for gaining a spell gone up? Because there are still two sorcerers here willing to blast you if you need... Um... Un Unfortunately, uh, that's not how uh, sorcerer spells work. Mwah, mwah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you just got night and the fucking squirrel turns back. Uh, Cass probably thumps both of you two on the fucking idiots. <laughs> Thump. What the hell were you two thinking? Yeah, I, say, I will be like, as she smacks me, I just collapse into a pile of ropes. 
And she probably like then shakes off both her hands because she's no doubt bruised her knuckles on both of your thick fucking skulls. <laughs> <sighs> well, congratulations on not dying or getting yourself or everyone here killed. Fucking idiots. The chance was there and I took it. Yeah, well, you got lucky. I would have thought you of all people, Tayana, would be, you know, afraid of your luck more than anything, but well done on spitting fate in the eye. Yeah, you just gotta face it head on. That's the only way I've learned how it works. Last time you did that, you almost died. Twice. Well, last time both of you did it, either of you could have almost died, so I don't think Not you're in any point to sound judgmental, Bob. You Any also thought to grab I... the card of retards. Yes, but last time I did it, I punched a boar into submission. No, I'm afraid you've reset any kind of moral or intelligence-based high ground you might have earned uh, by also battling to try and take the card of stupid. Castle huff and stare at the two of you like your dumb children, which I suppose technically you both are. I got smarter. Okay, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> now you're smart enough to realize that was really retarded. I still have it's a like... wisdom score of 10. <laughs> it's like that comic where uh, the guy's like, oh, hey, I've studied... Uh, I have... uh, the girl says, you haven't studied for the test? Don't worry. I I'm just going to borrow my brother's cloak of wisdom. Puts on the cloak of wisdom, plus 10 wisdom. I should have studied for the test. Yep. <laughs> We take a long rest here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did. Yeah, you're, 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 you're already, already taking a long rest. You're staying all day. Sure and putting yeah. all my all my uh, resources back in. I mean, everything in the deck could have harmed us by, I suppose, just fundament. What do you think happens if a terrifying monster appears in the middle of all these people? Do you expect everyone to react, knowing that, for instance, the death? was intended to be a one-on-one -on -one battle between heroes? No, what if one of these harpies threw an attack in, wanting to help? Could have started a chain reaction of death. Mm. I suppose that is the one card that could have gone badly for us. Don't worry, I could have taken it on. That doesn't matter. There are plenty of people... That's, that's not the point. You would have probably still doomed anyone who thought that they'd be try and be helpful to their own death. Both of you only thought about yourselves. Or about each other, I suppose. But it was still a stupid thing to think. Both of you should be ashamed. Yeah. That's the one that was holding out the card. I was holding up the card. It's not like I was saying, like come hither and take day. it. You both leapt up to steal it from me, and you did. Well, you did not pack it away. Again, you can't make it sound... You, you can't take the high ground for any kind of, you know... I can't really take the high ground. You're taller than me. Duh. Yeah, well, Cass, next time you want to hold out a magic item, just hold it way out of Bob's reach. And Tyana's. Well, Diana can't jump as high. What do you mean, Tyana oh, jumped she... the highest just then? She has them springies. Uh, she was just faster. Huh. I'm not BS. exactly most dexterous here, so... Next time one of you two try and grab a magic item, I will probably be joining in on probably to stop you from being so stupid. <laughs> Next time someone next time next next time someone holds a loft a deadly magic item, you just suddenly get like fucking magic missiles in the back of the head or lightning load away. Down, idiots, down. <laughs> you have to like cast and slow on them both. Well anyway, now that that's settled, are we going to uh go back down into the Undercroft and see what else was down there, or we're gonna call that a uh, <laughs> a wash. The tide 
should be out. So it should be safe for us to go down there. We have to deal with whatever is causing the evil down, though. If we can find whatever it is, yes. We must make every effort. If it is creating undead creatures and creatures of darkness, it must be expunged. I thought you expunged the big dangerous one down there. We didn't we? Oh, we did that. We did. We, didn't we killed the Death Knight, knight but there must have been some reason she was down there. Hmm. We okay. should examine the place at the very least. That makes sense. At this point, then, I'm going to request from you guys a skill test. Because climbing back down, you've gone through the combat portion of it. And I don't want to just, like, make your tokens a worm their way through these tunnels of, of lighting, because it would be a right pain in the ass. I'm going to bring it down okay. to a skill test. Okay. Okay. Which has... All right. Uh, what skills would you like to use for locating? Uh, obviously, the the prime the prime suspect being investigation, yes. But uh, there as well could be things like uh, tracks, damage. There could be runes written on walls. Oh, I'm yeah. going to be asking like all sorts of things. Arcana tests to identify these runes and see what's up with them. Okay. Be in decent so, oh, wow. trust Arcana. Uh, are you doing it solo, or are you going to yoink someone for advantage? Uh, I will yoink Hoss. All right. Okay. Uh, perception to actually see. I mean, I don't think perception works here. We're we're investigating. We're not just looking for it. We're actually trying to find things. Yep. Unfortunately, perception is the um. You know. Uh, what can you see uh, oh. in the distance? And then investigation is what though? <laughs> Get Jesse to uh, do her investigates. Uh, let me see here. She might have other skills that she also trained in. Jesse, 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 Jesse. Uh, yeah, investigation is the highest skill she has besides thief tool and carver's tools. Uh, oh, I shit. guess I'll help the Jesse out then. Okay. My uh, my money text is fucking huge. What happened? Oh, you have uh, one extra coin in there. Just oh no, you you're right. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, they changed. Oh, that reminds oh, me, Scow. Open oh, up oh, any wow. monster stat block real quick and look at the name. Uh. Oh, it's been centred. Yeah. Why? Who knows? I... Tyrannosaurus wet. Why are you in the middle? All right, whatever. Yeah, I just it was random an stupid change. That, no, that text is just fucking huge. Yeah, no. Jeez. It is big insane. money number. But it doesn't get smaller, so it'll just overflow now. Great. I mean. It's already starting to overflow. I have like 134 on the GP, and that four is just barely clipping into like the edge yep. around it. Yep. All right, Jesse Ariel, investigations. Uh, what's your actual investigation score, Ariel? Uh, my investigation score yeah. is zero. Okay, so you are you are playing help a bot. Yeah. Okay. I Let's see. My CSI vision can help her out. Yeah, survival would also be helpful. That will help reveal tracks. Sounds like a Bob thing. I can assist. I, don't... Uh, I think Hallie uh, and Hallie is your best. And I can assist. Why does the druid not have survival? Because I don't fucking need it. <laughs> the, druid the, has, druid... The, druid, the druid has nature. Yeah, I could literally talk to animals. I can live and make my own shit. So I kind of love that idea. It's like the cl the cleric that never learns medicine because why would they do that? They have magic to <laughs> solve those problems. Yeah. All right, uh, yeah. Allie uh, and Bob then surviving. Sure. For their portion of the test. Let's see here. No idea what I want to do. You could, I mean, hell, there's nothing stopping you from also doing an investigation or whatever. I or guess I could also, also do an arcana. Doing... Yeah, you can do an arcana. Uh, let's see here. Put that big wrinkly brain to use. 
I take it you're going to solo it just so that you can try and get in on your truly cursed bonus if you actually make it high enough? Yeah. Well, I still get my truly cursed uh, bonus even when I have advantage. I just never have true. actual advantage. Yeah. Fonra. I could also do a survival. Sure, Tiara will help you out. Tiara, yeah. yeah. That's everybody. Is that everybody? That's cool. nine people. You have to peel Holly away from all the fluffy babies. Being Thanks, dragged guys. Away. It's being dragged away by her collar. No. no! There's evil to destroy. We must <laughs> destroy it. <laughs> She's like, but soft babs! <laughs> babas. The yeah. orders of Embla are absolute. We uh, must destroy undeath. Move! <laughs> I don't want to go to Brazil. I got a seven. You got a seven. I got twenty. Sick. That's the word again. It's like the nerf now. Artist sending one of his characters to Brazil. Yep. Just go to Brazil. The next. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jesse, invest I'm gay. Eh. Shit. <laughs> She'll throw in a psychic knack. 13, that's not gonna, that's not gonna cut it, unfortunately. Guys. Uh. Fauna. Ziviv. Shit. No slouches in the survival department or the arcana department. Okay. So the actual investigation portion uh, is going to turn you up a foul. Uh, a trap is going to hit one of you guys while you are looking around for it. It will also, unfortunately, be one of the people who succeeded. So either, you know, team arcana or team survival. Hit me. Uh, I get to pick at random, or more correctly, I'm going to make a fairy pick at random. Uh, Bob, roll me a d3. Sure. Prepare yourself, Ellie. Alright, no, it is Trist and Cass are going to get blasted. Uh, as you guys are, like, pulling away rocks to reveal a set of runes, uh, the investigative duo who are like still traversing this cave up ahead of you must very well have missed this trigger point. The rock tumbles away, and you can see that there is a large glass orb. It splits immediately down the middle and bathes the both of you in corrosive acid. Ow. Ow. Uh... Oh, that wasn't the worst it could have been. It was still quite painful. Uh, and both of you have a rank of exhaustion. Oh. Hallie. <laughs> Ow. Uh, from the tap or from the vial? Kyle, please. Just, yeah, just like, scraping burnt skin off. Yep, Cast 2 is now shedding. Ah, uh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. See? And... Where is it? Oh, you don't need to spend more than that. <coughs> we'll be good. Yep, that's enough. I'm good. Uh, wasn't as bad as all that after. Yep. Cass and Trist both like just sort of spit up a wad of lung, but they seem to be mostly okay. Ha! Wish I hadn't had my mouth open. Uh, well, at least your uh, teeth got a free cleaning. I do have very strong teeth, and she will show off her perfect pearly whites. 
stronger than some dumb acid, I'm sure. This is good hygiene. That's the spirit. But then, of course, the Black Knights do have a professional dentist. That's the thing about us. We have a lot of very good contracts, so we happen to have a very nice night hold. <laughs> that must be so nice for you. We have a gym. We have a piano that's missing three keys. No, we uh, got actually yeah. two. We got two gyms and uh, uh, one steward and one Steve. We have pretty sweet armor and a lot of people that need to lighten up. We have a vineyard. We get to drink. At least we all have good deals. <laughs> Cass is just gonna, gonna not tell you everything else that the Black Knights have. <laughs> A.K.A. the Money Knights. The Knights that do all the contract work. Yeah, the, the richest order. It's just looking around and just, oh my god. Yeah, she this said gym, and you guys are like, yeah, we've got gyms and stuff too. <laughs> it's certainly not quite as awesome as this. She's like, yes, I'm sure you have lots of very nice gyms. I'm sure the Black Knights just love buying a, a mm. hair vineyard wine, though. Oh, yeah, thanks. Some of the best wine around. Some of the finest of winest. Uh, but yes, uh, after uh, bathing uh, two of the companions in Shijing Ashe. Uh, you do still manage to divulge the information laid out in runes. Uh, it looks like this wall was used like one great big spell scroll uh, written on it, in, uh, there, written upon it in what you would assume to be blood, uh, but obviously this cave and moisture. Uh... There isn't much there available to you. However, you would recognize these texts as responsible in the act of Golomancy. Oh. Now we're fucking talking. Yeah. That's strange. I would have expected necromancy, not Golomancy. So then the dogs we fought earlier are Golems, then? No, those were definitely undead. I guess there must have been something else here. Maybe part of Mother's Library. Possibly. The original construction? Mm, there must have been something related to Golemancy down here. Uh, and Fauna, yes. as well as Halley, Team Survival, you find strange tracks. Indeed, uh, these tracks appear to be very, very heavy boot prints. Both of you would have estimated them as belonging to someone around, like, 400, 500 pounds in weight. Definitely not the de not the Death Knight. No, no, she would have been lucky if she was, like, 150, even with all the muscle. We found some tracks, and they're very, very heavy. Something massive made these. Do you want to follow a them? golem, perhaps? Like you fitting for these this golemancy thing you found? You know, if this was six months ago, I would make a joke about somebody finding their mother down here. But <laughs> uh. that might be just a bit too self-deprecating for you. Well, let's see here. Uh, other things you can tell with a survival that good. Uh, judging by the boot prints, you can see that they have a heavier heel impression than, like, the middle of the foot. So whatever their feet or, like, footwear is, it would appear to be healed. Leaves a deep imprintation. So I'll put heels on their golem. Or whatever it is. Yep, it's a 500 pound stone golem in pumps. You figured it out, or you got me. It's just a giant statue of Morgan stomping around. It is, oh, of course, it's Robo Morgan. Her, her ultimate win, uh, weapon to fight Valthramar all along was actually just her Gundam suit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't blame her. But yes, you have found 
old evidence of a very, very heavy heel-booted individual uh, at the back of the cave, and runic symbols used to um, outline like the evidence of some kind of golemancy-related spell casting. That in and of itself doesn't appear to be any kind of undeath origin, however. But also, it's been a day and a death knight is gone. That presence is weaker than it once was. The oh. tracks go, like, probably out of the cave again, so... Where do they come from? At the very back of the cave where you found these runes. All right. Is I'm going to go to, to like, the origin point of be? the uh, tracks and start poking around, see if I can find, like, a secret door or an illusory wall or something. How old are these tracks? Just start fucking combat rolling into the wall over and over again. Um, the age of the tracks is hard to tell. Uh, you, you, it's like it's the, of... Of, it's the bottom of a sea cave. The tide goes yeah. in and out a lot. The, the fact that you can see the tracks at all really recent is evidence that it would probably mean like last month. Because they're incredibly deep tracks, like fucking 500 foot weight into like silt and gravel. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the knight was making a golem down here. Or was okay. left to hide the evidence that someone else did. Hmm. I'd say. And yeah, you can give me an investigate and now just like you've got it narrowed down to one singular, like tiny portion of this cave. Right. Right, anyone else is welcome to help. Come on, Jesse. Sure. Yeah. There we go. 21. 21. That's really pulling out the fucking bag. Brainiac team on the loose. Uh, and you know what? As well as Psychic Max, you'll spend another dice. Uh, that's both of her psionic D6s for the day. Uh, didn't quite bring up to 25, unfortunately. Very close, though. But you find a fake section of wall. Ha-ha! Is there a switch, or do we break it in? Oh, well, good. You, you get combat roll against the wall. That's how you, that's how you defeat these. Uh, more correctly, you could probably... Yeah, you could shoulder barge it, but you roll into it instead, and that also cracks open this fake section of stone. You can see that it's just a different stone from the rest of the cave wall. Uh, oh. But with that skill check not being quite high enough, hey, Trist, do you want to guess what's behind this one as well? Uh, a trap? Oh. Uh, yeah. Fall into a pit, Is it a pit immediately. Fall? Uh, it's not quite. Uh, it's very home alone. The paint can? Something falls, uh, some, some. Oh, is it like a falling log like just immediately it, 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 It's not a log, it's like the head, the head of, like, a spiked mace head. Alright, uh, do, do I get a bonus for a combat rolling through instead of coming in at, like, normal face height? You know what? Yeah, all right. I'll lower it's uh, AC. It, uh, your, I'll, I'll give you an AC bonus, even though it's advantage because you weren't expecting it, and it is making it. I guess the spiky death maze makes an attack against you. you just Sweet. roll under it. Yeah, that's the plan. Combat roll. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take it. In fact, I'll just take the yeah, two points off of its plus. All right. Duty twenty. Uh, yeah, I don't hit you. <laughs> it just swings right over me. Yeah, you're lucky there. And yeah, you Luck's see this got thing nothing to do with it. Like slam into the wall, leaves a great big crack on the other side that would have probably staved in your fucking chest. Wow. Excuse me, while I just pry Chris is gonna wall. just clamber yeah. back up to his feet and dust off. See, that's why you combat roll through. Well, it did. You did. It did. Missed you, so. Apparently so. Didn't I hear uh, your entire back crack like, you know, a crunching of a biscuit? No, that was the chain mail. Hit by the mace. You see, I even had one of my poppadoms ready for if you got hit dead on by it, because it would have been the, uh... Oh! <laughs> oh. Hold, hold on. Yeah, Ouchie. this is a really oh, nice... This is actually a really oh, nice yeah, mace. Yeah. Why would you use this for a trap? Actually, oh wait, Hallie, you won't, you wouldn't upgrade from your maze, would you? Hallie just protectively uh, puts her hand over her mace. 
Alright, well. No. Uh, Liam. As the only other strength one hander in the party, I'll just be having that. I guess. It's just that it's just the head of a mace right now, so it, obviously it needs hooking up to something. Well, I... it's a good thing he's also a blacksmith. Yeah, conveniently. Yep. Uh, yeah, but this mace head is particularly good against Fey and Undead. It's called Iron, it's silvered, it will suffer no negatives. Meanwhile, I'm resistant to it. <laughs> Yay! Yes. Well, what else is down the stairs? Is there a crappy old thing here? Yeah, give me but a brief moment. Cold have the same effect. Well, it's silver too, so I'm resistant. <laughs> Bonk. Yeah. Uh, you'll need to spend some time actually affixing it. And it will probably have a negative because this is probably made for a very specific, like, masterwork handle. Uh, if you uh, put the time in, you could make a much nicer one. Hmm. But, like, right now, you, you can obviously do, like, an improv. I'll put, a uh, like, just a minus one to hit with it for now. You give it an improv handle on the quick. Uh, sure. I'll do that. Just in case we run into some spoopers down here. Yeah, you could also turn it into a fucking flail. Yeah, that does yeah. way more damage, so. And it, it lowers the amount of, you know, hey, I need to make a masterwork fucking handle. Please. No, you don't. Shane, <coughs> Shane, done. Well, yeah, still. Make, making my own weapons is cool. That is part of why I became a blacksmith. It's true. I thought it was because you're cheap. I yeah, will dark knights have to learn these skills like budget wise. Uh, let's see. Move that over. And No fucking way. Okay, I guess that isn't here. Um, move this across. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is probably a bit of a tight fit. But. I will drag you guys over. Is that a fucking beholder? Yes, that was my first notice. That's a that's a mini beholder. In no, it's a uh, eyeball meatball. It's totally original, not copyrighted. It's it's an eye holder. It holds lots of eyes. <laughs> no, re remember remember what the Japanese say. It's a gazer. Yeah, yes, of course. That is, that is no, but seven is a key, sir. So... Wow. You're old enough to be my mother. Fuck you. I don't yeah, even if, want... if Steven's a geezer, then you're if a fossil. You don't got them character biscuits and anything to go by. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm the second oldest person in uh, here. No, uh Kanathis beats me by uh, exactly a year in a day. How very fake. Oh, yeah. He is. He is a. He oh, is yeah. a girl, if It's true. So like what? So he's like twenty-two. Sudi's twenty-three. <laughs> now, yeah, you are confronted with the. Although everything here is covered with a thick layer of dust. An otherwise pristine condition laboratory. You can see on the inside wall is like a lever switch, presumably for opening the wall that you've pounded your way through. Okay, just put the shackles on the fucking Jesse here so she doesn't just rush in there. What? It, stop. Hands up. We don't have to worry about those two rushing, uh, about you rushing into it like these two would have. I look pointedly at the two that drew, tried to draw a card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, oh no, you're trying to call me out on common sense, Bob. Mm. The you don't really have a moral instead. high ground yep. to call her out. Sorry, I'm going to be using that against you for the next 
Ever. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you two about to go suck on some monster <laughs> bathwater or something? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Some laboratory, it seems. Uh, I'm a chemical laboratory. Oh, well. Let's take well a Well beyond my forte, I'll watch the entrance. <laughs> oh, for a second, I thought Farner just like went off the map. No, I was just too zoomed in. <laughs> the, the ultimate Kina being like, I'm out, bitches. Deletes token. Alright, uh, what do we have here? Alright. Um, what's your passive perception? Oh boy, it's a nine. Okay. Uh, you don't notice as you walk over this set of runes that they begin to glow. Oh, I'm not uh, fucking else... walking over the runes. Are you nuts? I'm I just watch you drag your fucking token through it. But Look, you know. it goes in a straight line. I dragged my token like this. Is how I did on my screen. But obviously, because it's the fucking shortest point between two lines, it's like that. All right, fine. All right. Um, see, what kind of fucking retard do you think I am? Come on. I mean. Danger retard. I mean, you're not as bad as Bobble Tie, aren't you? But no, come on. It's it's me here. Yeah. All right. So you walk around carefully the uh, runes on the ground. They are probably not glowing as brightly as that image would dictate, but I don't have a good in between point. Oh, wait. Or maybe I do. You just put uh, a black filter over it. Yep. Hey. There you go. They're currently unilluminated. Uh, the literal meaning of the runes. Uh, a little bit different because it's actually just a magic spell, but you are arcana trained. Ariel, give me an arcana. Okay. I shall roll arcana. Oh. Okay. Um, hard to tell. Obviously, the literal meaning is just like Essentially, you're looking at a wall of like Latin root words. They don't have they. You can see the literal meaning of them, but obviously, you can't string together what kind of spell that might be. Although you have been led to believe that Golamancy took place, it could well be like a cre a, a circle of creation. Like you have to build the thing in the middle of this. Okay. But that's also like all you can intuit, even with cheetah powers. Okay. Oh, guess I'll just start looking at this bench then. Yeah, Cass will probably join looking at this bench here. Trist, you find elixirs constructed uh, that you might recognize. You want to give me an alchemist kit test? <laughs> sure. A. 15. Um, it looks like uh, some very basic versions of, like, Potions of False Life. Uh, which is to say, like, stacks of temporary hit points. Hmm. Interesting. How many? Uh, four. Mm. Necromancy potions, but... Harmless. Consuming them is 15 little... temporary hit points. Wow, yeah, pretty nice. Yep. If you would like to record those. Uh, besides those potions, you can see that there are books and instruction manuals on Golomancy. Uh, and you recognize your mother's handwriting again. Yeah. Uh, although this would appear to be uh, mostly, like, I suppose, instruction manuals on golem creation. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. Would she be left behind the rest of those notes? That was the real question. You can tell that she created a golem here, but I believe she would have walked away with the actual, you know, like, formula she used. Instead of leaving it all here. Mm, typical. What if but I it looks like. Oh, God. Mm. Go ahead. I was going to say, it looks like uh, monster parts would have been utilized in it. Well, I do have those uh, nice statues I took back at great expense to the Dragonhold. So. 
Yeah. We'll just gather up all these notes here. Sure. Uh, you would probably assume that those potions are false life, or at the very least, one of the ingredients. Huh. Good to know. And let's see here. Uh, you know what? Roll me a d10. Let's just see. Sure. Six. Okay. Uh, there is one individual drawing left of what this golem should look like. Although your oh. mother isn't quite an artist. Oh, sweet Jesus. If it's a picture of me, I'm going to shit. <laughs> You're the golem. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Frankenstein's all monster all along. I'm sorry, Frank and Trist. You were never a child. <laughs> no. Okay. What, what actually does it look like? I need to find it. It looks like a towering muscular half orc. Or maybe just full orc, actually. My god, it's a human. Not quite. Uh, they would appear to have. Uh, let's see here. Draconic horns. like finger claws let's see there's there, there's something it's it's definitively orcish but there are uh, draconic affectations about them uh, have i got their token in i might not oh it's not on there on my list that'd be why i can't fucking find the damn thing uh, so i'll just have to drag it on in apologies it's gonna appear like fucking giant originally not if you put it on the token layer uh, so when I put it into the token layer. What the hell? Oh. She had the thieves. Damn, she's hot. She also got that skull. Got that nip. Just a bit. That's just, that's armor over there. That's not just like that a is, gigantic that, nip. <laughs> Why can't it be? <laughs> eh, whatever. I'll just say that's actually armor. I know. Yeah, yeah, you can see that they have uh, like an orcish body type, but horns, claws, and such have been scribed in on the individual. Well, nobody I recognize, at least. It's an interesting design. You once again realize your mother is thirsty. Well, it's. I think the more worrying thing for Trish is that he and his mother have similar tastes. That's like not that what keeps I... playing out over and over again. That's also true. That's not what I would have imagined this golem to have looked like. Aren't they supposed to be made of stone or metal or something? Uh, golems can be made of different things. Most are stone or metal, but there are flesh golems too. The cheapest ones are just made out of wood. A oh no, funny... someone let the girl answer in the cold beef storage. We're fucked. There's a funny story I read once that uh, the origin of scarecrows is actually primitive golems actually defend the fields they would. But the ones oh. that are left today are just facsimiles. Jesse will speak up. I have once heard the legend of burger golems. Oh no. Mm. Golems of ground beef that were made to deliver themselves to heat. Uh, but a dark wizard took control of all of that ground beef and ruined the burgers. Sounds and like. The party. That sounds like a very expensive way to do food. Well, you know, wizards are strangers. Wizards, no sense of right or wrong. It's like the rule of cool, but for how much magic can I cram in this, I guess? And by the looks of it, Tristan, it looks like your mother wanted to cram a lot of magic into a tall, horned, muscular woman. Nice. You don't seem quite so much alarmed as you do just look expectant. 
Huh? What? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Jesse will step away again. But I will agree that that is an interesting looking individual. Trist ex exchanges knowing glances with Jess. <laughs> Adjusts her mask. <laughs> well, whatever it is that left about a month ago, judging by the tracks, maybe. Though tracking it outside of this cave might be difficult. If it's been that long. You say that long, but that town upstairs was certainly destroyed a long time ago. Mother left this place at least 20 years ago, probably closer to 30. And things went down here for that long and then only to leave a month ago. I don't know what brought the darkness here. I don't know. That's a good point. This place was supposed to have been abandoned for a long time. Yeah. Maybe your mother left it incomplete. Someone came along and finished the job. That seems likely, but why, why now? How did they find this place? I don't know. Unfortunately, the Death Knight's gone, and I don't think she had any accomplices hidden around in the village, so... No. Nice. We'll just have to consider this a mystery for another time. Indeed. Now, let's check out the other tables in these... Maybe the Harpies? Perhaps the Harpies know... We could ask them if someone if they noticed anything about a month back. They might now. Um, as for the large uh, glass containers full of uh, green ichor, uh, the monstrous little gremlin creature within might well have been alive at one point, but it is now desiccated within the tank. Sorry, could you say that again? What the fuck is this thing? It looks like some kind of spiderous, grippy creature with fangs Ooh. and tendrils, but it has uh, since become desiccate in the tank. Oh. Oh. Uh, Bob, what the fuck is this thing? Or I just go ignore it? Give me a nature test, Bob. Sure, I'll help. You have no fucking idea. It's freakish and not anything you've ever seen before. Or heard of. That's disconcerting. Uh, this thing over here, it looks like a meatball with... Eye stalks. Yeah, upon those eye stalks uh, would appear to to be like shriveled up eyes. Again, the being in here maybe once had been alive, but is quite dead. Uh, you notice that the uh, glass that makes up this thing's container construction is a lot thicker than the previous. Uh, and as you like crane your head like to the side to side, you can see that the inside surface is probably mirrored. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How about the table? And at the uh, table, uh, Ariel, you will have already had some time to go over this. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of this would appear to be like scraps of uh, books, how tos, and basic alchemical formulas. Uh, Trist, you'd recognize half of the material here as stuff that you used to learn in the first place. Uh, Ariel, similarly, you have uh, your own alchemical knowledges. Uh, this appears to be like the beginner's guide to alchemy and a number of other bits. Mm -hmm. Useful. 
Uh, and you find a little puzzle box. Uh, they're just like old time equivalent of just a Rubik's cube. Uh, currently, it is solved. Oh, I remember little things like this. I used to have one when I was a baby. Oh, now you have one again. Only fitting since this was your mother's lavatory. So this puzzle box, does it like open or anything when it's solved, or is it just like a toy? Hmm. Uh, take it. You give it a little old pickup, and when you do, you can feel the faint tingle of magic. Oh, magic. Second. It is an adorable little toy. And it's magic. And... Doot. Oh. What a handy little uh, trinket. Uh. The Rubik's Cube of Wondrous concentration I wonder who Rubik was a great puzzler haven't you heard the stories left all sorts of puzzles across the world little gifts to mankind and the like to help them uh, become smarter in their pursuits they solve them they get a little prize huh. what an admirable ideal Oh, bye, Hallie. <laughs> yeah, Hallie leaves, saunters past Fauna and is off to go hug babies. Uh, boy, I hope we don't all get horribly cursed when we start dicking with this magic circle. Is there anything to dick with it? There's no gun in there anymore. Do you want me to stay? Uh, just for a minute, in case we do actually get horribly cursed. <sighs> I prepare... I prepared to spell curse today. Oh, did you oh, prepare Miami sending too? Me. I had that thing I wanted to. I did do that too. Excellent. I hope you won't mind me taking the uh, book scraps and the like here for the beginner's alchemy. Uh, sure. To develop uh, more into the foray. Uh, it's below my current level anyway. Have at it. Hmm. I'll just add those to my pack. Is there actually enough uh, alchemical junk here to refill my alchemist tools at all? Uh, roll me a d2. On a 1, yeah. On a 2, no. Or technically, okay, yeah, you can. Sweet. A lot of it seems to have, like, you know, passed its sell-by date, but you can find a few things where the sell-by date's obviously just, you know... A suggestion. That, that's just, it's just a suggestion. It's just put on there so the Wizard Illuminati makes more money. It's, it's, it's big alchemy putting sell-by dates on stuff that doesn't expire, so you'll buy more. Ah, yes, yeah. of course. I took a look at this magic circle a little bit earlier, but uh, the actual meaning is just a bunch of root words to me. Can't exactly string them together. Well, uh, let me take a look. Try an arcana. I, I will have uh, Cassie give you a hand. God. <laughs> Ariel, she like a glance over at Tristan. You can, you swear, you could see one of his one of his think meat veins throb <laughs> as he stares at this. Look at that big, sexy brain. Uh, yes, this looks like a construction circle for golems. Uh, while you are implanting them with 
all sorts of whatever that gives them either sentience or movement. Uh, it stops stray magic from, you know, getting out or evaporating into the general area. Hmm. Uh, it would probably work on, like, not necromancy-related or demon-summoning-related tasks vis-a-vis -vis not letting skull, uh, souls out when they're freed. I see. Well, I'm but no... it's usually not used for quite so considerably menacing purposes. Time to crack the old journal open and start uh, transcribing this in. Sure, it'll probably take you a couple of hours. Yeah. Once I've cleared out the rest of this place, I'm just going to start copying. I'll wave Hallie off. Look to the others say. I'm just going to rifle through things here for a while. You all can go back up to the roost. Roost. I suppose so. Be careful down here. Sure. Best she'll hang around. She'll get a limp if she goes up there anymore. <laughs> you mean prepare to move out? I'll go move back to celebrating back. with wine. Yes, because we were supposed to gain seat. We'll be getting there very shortly. You said we were oh, spending we a day here. Yes. The rest of this session is just bullying Tristy time. I'm going to go back yeah, up like there and start enjoying wine. I just said we're going to do it. Yep. But yes, you can go on up and relax, have a few drinks, chat with harpies, get head pats. They all run, as I said before, incredibly warm because they've all got a bit of dragon in them. So they are like little, little, uh, Furnace heaters that will keep you all company. At some point, Melissa the Harpy will wake up and thank you all properly for uh, rescuing her. I'll wave it off. Just doing as knights are supposed to do. Oh. Well, it is very nice of you. Um, I went down to look into why... I don't know, there seem to be a lot of restless dead down there. Uh, I was unfortunately snatched up. Hmm. Shouldn't be any more restless dead down there. You took care of what I believe to be the main cause of it. Very well. And just shunt you guys down there. There'll be some pouting when Trist doesn't uh, immediately come on up. At least until they find out that's because there was another one of the mother laboratories. And then instead there's like this awkward shuffling as two very large harpy dr uh, dragons try and get into the lab as well. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, they go, they definitely head on down to like, see what's up. Let's see here. How well edumacted are they? Yeah, reasonably. They're sorcerers as opposed to wizards, though, so... Ooh, okay. Uh... Would you give me a constitution saving throw? Oh, no. Alright, uh... Oof. All right. Um, it feels like every vein inside your body momentarily swells. Ow. And the uh, blood vessels in your eyes burst. Ow. Oh, you have one rank of harm. Ow. Luckily, you're here for a day, but also, wow, holy shit, ow. Something has happened to the blade, though, although not that there's any, like, visible change to it. <gasps> but you definitely did something just then. Just gonna do the old, like, stagger back and slow and slide down it. There is immediately... A few seconds. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? There is immediately, like, a Cass, a Jesse, Catrice, and a Spiris just, like, leaning over you, making sure, like, fanning you down and making sure you aren't dying. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just crying blood. <sighs> oh, you'll be fine. I've seen people blow their eyes out harder after drinking too much. That's horrifying. 
Uh, that's just what happens if you throw up too hard. Uh, so rub my eyes and pull myself up to my feet. Stray, have you ever been so uh, hung over sick that you've blown out blood vessels in your eyes? I honestly was just thinking, wait, that can happen? Yeah, yeah, I did that, actually. Wow. Uh, it gave me, um, like, solid red color in my eyes for ages. That's wait. freaky. I'm a drunk. How did that happen to you and not me? You obviously, you just don't throw up as hard as I do. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Rarely throw up. It's a oh, weird yeah. flex, but okay. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, no, I'm part cobalt. That was me trying to shoot blood at my eyes to escape the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't actually bleed, but it's like, uh, you sort of feel it like eye strain, and it's very unpleasant. And then you just, you know, have tired eyes for a while. Like, I didn't obviously know I'd done that until the very next day, when I looked in a mirror and saw just, like, solid red, like, just splotches inside my eyes. When that, my dad's got a weird when, flex like that. When I'm that hungover, what happens to me is I throw up and then I just lay in bed shaking for six hours. Yeah, no, I was very sick, very hard. Um, uh, I also know some people who did that uh, the night before a wedding. Uh, oh, and so uh, their wedding photos are the groom and bride, both with just like demon eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Metal. Tell them I approve, and also you have the bachelor party two days before, dumbass. Everyone knows that. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll put it in VCT with a spoiler tag. It's not especially gross, it's all mo mostly spooky looking, but it might trigger some people, so. Pop that in VCT. That's basically what happens. Huh. Yeah, I've never done it's that. Very, very spooky. When you yeah, are, if... you know, like, not expecting that. So, yeah, if any of you plan on getting married, remember, the bachelor bachelorette party happens at least two days before. You need at least one day to recover and then, uh, you know... Not just sober up, but also drink lots of water and Gatorade. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. I was, gonna, I was thinking it wasn't like that uncommon. I'm surprised that it's never happened to you guys. I mean, admittedly, I don't think it's that uncommon to happen just from being sick. But you'd have vomit really goddamn hard to blow out your eyes. Is what I, I guess. I guess I'm just not as good as puking as you. Yeah, I'm just incredibly fucking good at it. I mean, I'm super talented at being horribly ill. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, so Tress, that unfortunately happens to your eyes. Uh, as you just sort of like fucking... Yeah, that as well. Yeah, I've got really powerful throat muscles. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Everyone looks at Kena. What? Nothing. What? Wasn't listening. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> For once, it wasn't winter. Okay. No, Andy, for one, I was paying attention. Yeah, you wrapped attention for this, but yes. Uh, so trust you, you know, stagger up up to your feet and reclaim Sir Green's blade. Well, Enzo will find out what happened to you. Maybe you'll start flying around, fighting on your own like a golem blade. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, can you give me a disadvantaged insight? Okay. Uh, insight. Amazing. No, the blade is but, oh, it is but a cold hunk of metal in your hands. You yeah. definitely can't detect it being huffy with you. Alright. Well, give the blade a little like flip around in my hands. Pat on the blade itself. Yeah, well, I'll figure it out. Sheath. 
Yeah. And you guys can uh, return to Harpy Nest and enjoy a day of rest, which now Trist really needs in order to cure the rank of harm he gave himself. <laughs> Ow. Ouchies. Well, time to spend the next 24 hours just buried in Harpy Lap. Yeah, it's true. Cass is probably going to be quite close by as well, just because it's a fucking comfy, warm furnace and the big people are with you. Hell yeah. Hallie gets to spend a bunch of time playing with kiddos. Millie gets to bully Jesse some more. It's great. And it's like a hand pull cart will prep. Yeah. Grease the wheels, you know. Sure. Uh, checking weather, you can see that it is probably going to be mostly clear. Uh, there aren't many clouds, but that's probably going to make the the temperature go down, if anything. Uh, there's less cloud cover. It's going to get brisk. Well, it is getting close to winter. I would expect it to be cold. Yep. Yeah. So, to the map? Sure. And yeah, it was, well, uh, Bob looks. So Derek's been keeping an eye on the cart, just like casually munching on a lamb that he appears to have caught at some point. He's going to have such big hairballs. It's like bones and all, yeah. Before we leave, as we're leaving, Fonra is going to go to Tristan and clap him on the shoulder. Ow. <sighs> Sorry. Hey, Fonra, what's up? I just want to say I'm really happy for you. I know you didn't find, like, your mom or anything, but you found a lot of family that you didn't know you had. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I did. <laughs> Thanks. It's a boon if I've ever seen one. Talk about coming out of nowhere. Right? And, for better or worse, you did find out some more information about your parents. Or at least one of them. Hopefully, just one of them. Yes. Yeah. Just I look down for a moment and say, if I ever uh, go, uh, I'm gonna lose my mind like that. Uh, what happened in the journal there? <laughs> Don't hesitate to strike me down, Honor. Apparently, this sort of Darkness the siren skull just runs in the family, it turns out. Well, I hope it never comes to that, but if it does, I won't let you fall to dark I will not let you fall to darkness, Tristan. Reach out and or clap we'll... Fawn around the shoulder. You know, I was quietly munching Papa Dom's while you were saying that. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. So. If those are your three destinations, that seems like a good idea. Technically four, but yeah. I mean, it's not we're going to be staying in King's Seat. It seems like we're breaking up from King's Seat to go into our halls and then re-meeting in King's Seat come spring to do the research there. stuff. And But then again, there's a lot of stuff we need to do in King's Seat. Yeah. Yeah, which, which is why I'm saying like, we're going to be breaking up at King's Seat and coming back to it and researching it there. 
I'm doing my research and stuff as soon as we hit King Seat. What are you talking about? Yeah, Castle Sight. I'm probably not making it all the way back to the Black Knight Hold, so I guess I'm going to be footing it with the dragons. Mm. Boo. You know how big my bed is back at the Black Knight's Hold? Probably as big, maybe even bigger than the bed I have at the, the Hair Hold. Maybe. Do you people got beds? Yes, I am technically a noble, so it's kind of expected. Well, yeah, just family of nobles. Really. A hammock. Dude, I'm poor as dirt, and even oh, I know, have a bed. I can't. So... so, travel roll, please. Get around long, long enough. Okay. Travel roll. Step one. I'm just going to hit the button. I have advantage on this. Sure. Boop. Didn't matter. Hey, for once, I didn't fuck us. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that was poor scouting, uh, good nav, quartermaster, Bobber. Okay, okay. Bobber. Oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't fuck up this time. Yeah. yeah. Wait. There's always one. And then the cooking, or are you going to avoid Yeah, would you like to not. cook? Wait, hold on. We actually haven't had a navigator's roll. Yeah. Yeah, we did. No, we haven't. That's it's trust. nature, operate, vehicle, or navigator. It's tools for navigation. Uh... I see. Hello, I trust on me. So, yeah. Yeah, but scouting roles are survival athletics, which we have I know, there. I'm just waiting. Oh, right. So it's the other way around. No. Um... Huh. I mean, yes. survival doesn't work for navigation either, though. It I think we've been nature. rolling survival this whole time instead of nature. No. Oh. It's straight just push the wrong button. Always do survival. I do yeah, not that's always, always survival. survival. We've been just doing survival instead of nature like idiots. Uh, uh, because one. dumbasses, I have a negative one in uh, nature. It's an right, skill. That's, that's why we've been having Jesse do our, our uh, navigation uh, lately, uh, because you're not right. good at it. Yeah. And I'm the only, and I'm the one with the highest survival, so I always like survival. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it didn't okay. matter, it turns out. Well, luckily, it's only the two leg part of the journey, so you probably aren't going to get, probably, probably aren't going to get attacked. I mean, we are in the middle of Undeadsburg, and we're going through the big scary hills, so. Well, there is a, we know there is a, we're, there's a farm here. I don't know if that's a farm. That's a town. That's not a farm. That's that's not, not a farm. Oh, sorry, tarn. That is a town. Tarn. Sorry. A tarn, yes. yes. So at least, at least we could get some information about the surrounding hexes. I mean, we're getting lost on the way to that town. Yeah. I mean, okay. We don't know what's happening. So, until... You make your way into the hills. That's a day. Takes you two days to get out of the hills. The journey ends up taking four to reach the, your destination. Instead, you're lucky that nothing went for you, but you definitely spent a lot of time meandering in the hills. So, if you'd like to take off four person days of rations, yep. And then you arrive on the outskirts of the city. At which point, you hear a groan from Jesse. Shit, yeah. I recognize this place. Yeah. What did you do this time? Are you wanted here? Yes. No, nobody's wanted. Nobody's, wa nobody's wanted here. Uh, this is the rogue city of Hollisher. What's that? Uh, it's a place full of lawless brigands, essentially. 
Oh. Uh, knights are not especially welcome. Uh, and what can I say three more. Careful. Uh, I suppose a freehold is a way to describe it. Uh, they do a lot of importing. Um, do any of you guys know how to lark to see do? Sorry, could you speak Carmen? Uh, Shit. Uh, yeah, no, none of you, none of you speak Kant, do you? She'll look to literally all of you. No. What? Then let's, uh, then let's move on. I can't speak Kant, no. Uh, great. Great. That's a shame. Uh, I can go in and get us some resources if we need them. Uh, thanks to Bob's uh, birds, we're actually doing all right on food. I think we can skip the place. I thought some area information would be useful. Let's not fuck around in Mos Eisley. I mean, I want to fuck around in Mos Eisley. That's what's awesome, but... Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds fun, but, you know, whatever. Okay. We are, uh, we are not the party prepared to fuck around in Moss Eisley. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> I don't care. What the fuck is Moss Eisley? I uh, like, oh, reckon hot folks coming Star back. Wars Episode 4. What do you guys not know what Moss Eisley is? Anyway. Um, I don't care about Star Wars. Yeah, Jesse will look to you guys. But I do. Uh, it's full of people that uh, do a lot of black market work. They also have the only bounty office in the cap in the continent. Because Casey doesn't, you know, legally recognize bounties. Hmm. Ah. Uh, let's see here. They have a miners guild. Uh, I'll do an in check. We'll see how much shit she recalls. I thought child labor laws existed. Uh, miner as in the digging, not the actual miners. Yeah, they have a, a bunch of merchant manors and illegal imports section. Uh, the National Office of Bounty Hunting. And I'm sure there's more to it than that. Obviously, the place is chock full of rogues and they aren't big fans of the knighthood. Ah. Well, they... Right. Would they be importing stuff from the north then? They'd be importing stuff from everywhere. Which you'll do air quotes. Better to not fuck around with the importing. You never know when having that sort of thing might get you in trouble. Well, I mean, we're headed to King's Seat, so that's, that's a fair guess. No, I was just just thinking about uh, Il Franco. I you think we sure might. That's... I think we might find that princess of his there. Uh, the red-eyed princess. What, what better place to hide? No, I think it's probably one of the worst places to hide. Well, if why, you want why? to disappear into the muck and scum of the earth, this would be the place to do it. Mm. From what we were talking about, Franco, that ruby eyed prince of his is certainly noticeable. And uh, I think many people in the city of Rhodes would take, uh, would want to stab at it. It's possible. El Franco's quest is also not our quest. That is true as well. If we happen upon his princess, fine then. But we're not going out of our way to look for her. We are already pressed for time as it is. Alright. To Talon's rest then. <sighs> okay. Scout slowly puts away all of her prep for the day. It's prepped, but also um, it's been prepped a while. Just sat in the background. I did make some additions to it recently, but, you know. 
<laughs> I mean, as much as I'd love to go in there, I mean, we've been told basically we probably shouldn't as knights. Well, no, you'd have to hide your identities. Also, who cares? What's more interesting is all these blank hexes. Yeah, but there might be yeah, the rival party here, you know. though. You know, the place of brigands? Who cares? This is interesting. All right, fuck the you, un- too. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So, uh, are you going to go south or southeast? Uh, let's oh, go is- like uh, this. Okie dokie. This is why I wanted the, the square information. Oh, sorry, the hex information. Okay, let's. Do we need new travel rolls? Uh, yes, please. Uh, I'll do just yeah. in a sec of just revealing them. Actually, do you mind if I do the uh, nature roll? Go for it. I've She'll give just you advantage. Assist. Okay, so this is a raw roll. Yep. <laughs> well, I can't see what it is. What happens? It's a crit. Okay, give me like, give Guess me a hot make a discovery. Give me a hot fucking minute. Then I need to um, I need to do a thing. Like the <laughs> second discovery of the entire campaign too. Oh, did we yep. hit something? No, it's just forest. That's just forest there. Uh, and uh, I make you roll. Did nature. No, you're not what rolling did anything. You did nature stuff. Yeah, it's supposed to be nature. Yeah, they have it right. Yep. Yeah, you guys are fine. Holly doesn't doesn't have to now. It's all all working out dandy. Uh, I need to check. Oh, I've got old tokens in here. No, I'm probably better to roll when the eight when the uh, DC is not very high. No, uh, it is actually fairly high in this circumstance, but that's all right because you roll a crit anyway. Yeah, but even at twenty, even at twenty seven, will be at least cutting down the journey time. Yeah, we should shave off a day here, so that's nice. Make up for some uh, lost time. Yeah, maybe just like, I, I was like, let me put my big brain to work, and boy, did I. So those, those extra folds came in handy. <laughs> yeah. uh, that and that. So, this occurs when you set up camp in the forest for the night. First watch notices a group approaching and then beginning to set up camp. Let's just grab that. Move you over here. Oh, hey! Speaking. Oh, shit. <laughs> Headed in the direction of Hollow Share. Oh, hey. Speaking of another group of danger retards. It's good to see they're all still alive and well. How long has it been since we've seen them? It's been... Like Almost a month, a month uh, I think. A month. About a month. Oh, they're I going to the... Question. They're going to the roguey place. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Who do we run into? Uh, oh, the rivals. Party. Look, they're camped. As you guys are all like set question. up and camping, you see these guys like headed through the clearing, and they they've got like camping supplies over their shoulders. Might as well Winter. Get up hey, I have a question. Yeah, questionally. I have a question before we do anything for people. Do you want me to summon up some fucking, uh, some uh, some beasts for us to just ride and meet them up? No. The last no. An hour, just to... They're like 30 feet away. They're like literally a hop, skip, and like, a jump they're over. Like, they can, they're they like pushing out into the clearing. Home. Yeah, they can see your camp. And they are like pushing through the clearing. Um, 
and they come to various halts when they see a familiar outline at the very least cast a silhouette by the uh, setting sun and the crackling fire. The broadness of Teyana is like a shadow that reaches all the way out, like <laughs> across the wall. There wow. is no way they can mistake That's that thing. That's a fucking eclipse. Like yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like your, your major light source is like dead behind her. That's perfect. That's what I was hoping for. So it's like, yeah, the light's being cast like that, and you're just leaving a great big silhouette where they all just like come to a slow halt. Yeah, and uh, you can just see the mute one instead of doing the, you know, praise the sun, he just makes his arms sideways. <laughs> praise like, the light. Instead of upwards. Yes, praise the squish. Praise the yeah, squish. See, you see Garrick do a wave. I'll give him a wave back. Oh, wait, no, that's for Tian. Never mind. Don't worry. Never mind. I think it's... Yeah. Still. Just awkwardly turns away, dude. Yeah, they like come to a halt and you can't hear what they're saying, but they will like have a very brief discussion. Should we'll... we go say hi? Should we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Should. kind of yeah. already have, so. No, that's what they're saying. That's what they're yeah, saying. they're like, oh, okay. uh, do we just like keep walking? At which point, uh, <laughs> I imagine uh, the uh, princess will like tug on someone's ear and huff. Rude. Uh, fine. <laughs> and they will approach. Oh, we've been nothing but nice to these guys. How rude. Good to see you all alive and well. Oh. Oh, hey. It's her. Yep. Is that well, I'll be damned. And you joined up with them. I'm going to slide down. Hug yep. my man. Well, Merrick Garrick disappears. Garrick <laughs> <Garrett> just disappears. <laughs> I'll catch you, my beloved, he says mutely and just disappears. Yeah. Oh. There is some giggling from uh, young Tammy. Uh, what brings you this way? We were up along the coast for. Uh... More personal quest of ours, making our way back to King Seat. Oh, fair enough. Uh, we're on our way away from King Seat. Picked us up a new friend. Yes, we've oh, met, met her before. Hi. Hi, yeah. It's a small, small world. Do you want to share a campfire? Uh, we'll probably set up camp just on that other ridge. It's looking a bit. Uh, cramped over there. I think you might have a plus one. Uh, yeah, so it seems. Unless Muffled. Garrick wants to crash in your companion Tyana's. At which point, like, a yes. fucking thumbs up will, like, slide yeah. out from the switch. <laughs> Muffled <laughs> <Muffled elf. Elf. laughs> Fuck, you're not a reverse Terminator 2. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thumb actually pushes out. All right, I guess that Garrick is going to be joining you at your camp. Remember to let him breathe, Tahana. No or don't. Maybe that's his thing. Mm. <laughs> just <laughs> just uh, finger waves to this one and say, hey, you managed to refill? There's like a faint scowl from her, but she will eventually grin. I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Oh my, the treasure chest. Uh, far be it for me to say, but uh, you guys don't exactly seem the type for hollow, sure. No. Hey, we, we went around. Passed upon the city. But uh, decided not to go into it. Fair enough. We wouldn't be particularly welcome there. Well, you guys, you look at you look the part at least. I look like a fucking hobo. Hmm. Oh, you're the nightliest hobo I've ever seen. Had me fooled this whole time. Yeah, of course. Indeed. Sir Hobo yeah. Bob. 
Kingsley. I'll look to... Uh, so they said they were coming from Kingsley, right? Yeah. I'll look to uh, Acer there. Did you find the answers you uh, were seeking down there? She'll frown and shake her head and I. A shame. And yeah, you can see that uh, Jen is staring at you rather intently. I'll meet her oh. gaze. Yeah, do we want to give the knife over? No. I mean, I don't want to, but yeah. I'm about to. We're not going to because it's cursed still. It's never going to be uncursed. Yeah. That thing is broken. I'm not about to subject that girl to that broken light. Well, uh, I'm holding the blade, so... Yeah, I guess you hold the blade out, and probably uh, uh, from this one, whereas At Tiny was eager to first. take the first, she's gonna, like, lean away from it. That thing feels creepy. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the knife out. And I'm offering it to uh, help first, and I'll say... We found this one. Are you with... straining to hold it out? What? Is it really heavy? It's, it's like it's like a hundred pounds. Heavy. Oh yeah, I mean, fucking Tris has eighteen strength. He's managing. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's like you're holding out this tiny blade, but you could see like you know whipcord fucking tendons holding this thing tight. She's like staring at it weirdly. We found this in the same place we met Astra. Uh... Like we said last time, we're supposed to give you these things, but I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want it. It's got a nasty curse on it, and all it's good for, as far as I can tell, is tearing a velvet from our new asshole. And that's not a bad use for it, but, uh, uh... Yeah, I don't know what to do with that one. That one feels broken. It is. It's broken and wrong. Um, I mean, I guess it would be fitting then. I give it a little grab, but uh, uh, I'm right as in. Well, as a knight, it's our duty to bring these things to you. No one said we had to make you take it, though. So if you don't want it, I'll hang on to it. Uh, oh fuck it! All right, I don't want to ruin your oath or anything. She'll reach out and take it by the hilt. Yeah, when when she starts reaching out, Tris is gonna like do the drop to a knee and present the sword. Uh, she like blushes and then will accept it. And yeah, as expected, it probably doesn't weigh a hundred pounds to her. Yeah, but there is obviously like still more heft to it than she was expecting, and she'll wince. Ugh. I tried removing the curse on it. Didn't work. No, it's broken. But, yeah. And then the moon blade spring. Yeah, but she's still holding it, like, fucking hilt out, and you just get run through. Oops! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you get lightsabered. Yeah, and I, uh, she'll grimace and wrap the dagger up and put it away. Ugh. Gross. Yeah. Yeah, that thing stinks. Yep. Yeah. Thankfully, mm. only metaphorically. Oh, still. No, I no, I mean that. I don't know if you can't smell it, but I've been animal thank, enough animals that my nose is pretty good, and that smells wrong. I think you're just crazy, but whatever. It feels a lot wronger, but I won't yeah. uh, discourse your sniffer, Noble Knight. Uh, Ariel, Jen walks up to you. Okay. And oh, she offers... I hello to you. A punch in the knee. <laughs> Kick in the dick, no. Uh... Joke to her, I don't have one to kick. <laughs> her foot disappears up to the ankle. Oh no. Knees? I said dick, <laughs> not knee. Right. 
Oh, no, let me fucking finish. <laughs> uh, she holds up and hands out a carved statuette. Looks like chipped stone. It is a bunny of black stone. A gift. Thanks. Feels weird not to give it when I'm remembering. Then she will clamber back down the rocks. Uh, yeah. And she returns down the side. Uh, Astra asks a question quietly. Uh, however, it appears to be in Arquin. At which point Tammy will translate vaguely to Jen. Oh, um... Yeah, we have a history. It's fine. Let's see here. Uh, but yeah, I guess the uh, rival party is going to like set up a camp over here. Nice. Uh, I'm going to shout uh, towards uh, Tammy over here. Mm. Hey, kid. What's up? Catch. I'm going to huck something down at her. She will catch it. Is it heavy? No, it's like a pouch. Okay. She catches the pouch and takes a peep. It is a, it is a candy ration. <gasps> Ooh. Thank you very much. Uh, then you can have... She rummages around her bag. Some of these. And she... Will then tippy tippy toe to hold up a cardboard uh, cardboard uh, box, hmm. folded card. I'll take it. Inside are delicious shortbread biscuits. Hmm. Ah, I thought it was a box of bees. <laughs> bees! Of bees! bees! I already have. I think I've got enough. I've got enough bees to handle already. <laughs> Though in just the one. Buzz. One is enough. I'll hold the box out and give let Tiara have a can't have a cookie. Mmm. Ooh, buttery. Nom, nom, nom. And she will munch happily. They're delicious, thank you. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Stay safe. Well day. Uh, yeah, I don't like put up everyone's tents and stuff. If only because then I I will have to then take them all away again next time that I use this for a camp scene. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So, so are you actually gonna have a brood off now? Or? <laughs> well, no, I was actually going to take uh, Garrett aside and uh, let him know a few things about the road uh, since he's their group leader. Also that apparently vampires can walk in the sun if they have uh, mystical veils on, so be wary of anyone you see wearing a veil. And who's creepy. I mean, we're always careful of creepy people. Uh, but I'll take that advice to heart, sure. Yeah. I could have just had a bitchin jab at Tristy. <laughs> There's a yeah, new weapon okay. in the enemy's arsenal we need to be aware of. Fair enough. Uh, and yeah, no, Barrett doesn't brood. If you see this doesn't... man, he absolutely broods. All right, sure. Occasionally he does the sad Keanu, but he's okay for now. He's traveling with a party and he's got, you know, a job to do, which means he's serious. Someone kill his puppy? Oh, God. Serious, pretty. Well, no, if someone killed his puppy, then Kingsley would be a bloodbath. <sighs> It was just a dog. <sighs> it's never just a dog. It's true. It is never just a dog. 
Uh, you can see that this, the the party's looking a little bit stronger than before. Some of them have got some slightly nicer armor. Barrett's got a nicer looking longbow. Good. I'm glad somebody's had uh, some gear upgrades. What do you mean somebody? Look at you. All right, I have I have a hammer. I think that's the only decent gear we've gotten, really. Uh, you've also gotten the sensor of purity. You've also got the magic shield. Yeah, that's that's staying in the tent because I'm not using that yet. So, all right, we've gotten two new magic weapons. That's that's fair. That's fair. And two big bonkers. Two big bonkers and a slammy tank. You're doing okay for gear. Uh, yeah, you guys can uh, retreat to the fuck puddle. Yes. Well, I will introduce him to my treasure chest. And does he also climb into your treasure chest? <laughs> Which chest? Which one are we talking about here? It's all yes. treasures. We don't really That's hear. In my chest. We don't really hear anything from the elf. We only hear uh, Tahana's moans because it's just way too muffled. Yeah. He he has effectively been silenced. He already was, but. Oof. Well, you just need to be like a mimic. Like a mimic. Tahana just sinks into the, into the chest there. He climbs in and just gets munched in. Being mm -hmm. mute doesn't mean you can't make noises. He I has not. He, yeah, he gives her a right proper hammer. I was making jokes. Mm. I would love for a beast of darkness just to. Uh, uh, stumble upon one of the watches. Yeah, in the fucking middle of a watch. You know what? I have a cracking headache. But I would be willing to uh, set you up uh, an interesting Beast of Darkness fight over the course of uh, between now and next session. Should okay. we have to sure. first? I'd be down for that. Show off like our combat skills and everything to the royal party and, and everything. I can tell this is going to drive me insane because all of these characters have like real ass character player sheets as well. Oh boy. Mm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I will set you up with something interesting while both groups are in one place. Cool. I guess I will have to give them their tents then so they're all properly positioned. But we'll worry about that later. Yeah, I was getting a migraine last night, and although I woke up mostly fine, I can feel the headache coming back, so I would rather not push it much further. That's fine. Right. You can just go ahead and do an experience then. Yeah. Congratulations on surviving uh, death, and then rolling a random encounter that I had noodling around in my think meets. Yeah. I'm glad we got to meet the royal party again. And yeah. you know where they're staying this winter. Mm. Yeah. In a rogue town. Yeah. I don't actually know what to do with that, but, you know, it's something. You know it. That's more than you knew before, which was nothing about where they were staying over the winter. And so... That puts some of the windows off to the side. And we shall update to the calendar. Let's see here. You arrived in the mom zone on the 28th. Then you left on the 30th? Yep. And we shall slide over to the map. And from Mom's Zone, it was four days. So it is December the 4th. Oop. Not the 544th, 4th December. Reached. Holosha village, or city even. It's like a full ass fucking city. And then it's 
four. Eighth of December, expected arrival in a town rest. Save. Okay. And yeah, it's a uh, very cold weather at the moment, but you've been spared the worst of it by random chance, as is want to be. Experience, did you explore New York student location for the first time? No, we pointedly <laughs> did not. Correct. Dem laboratory. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. We did find oh, more in the okay. lab. Okay. Uh, did you discover a new and interesting truth about the land? Uh, uh, we discovered Does the gold, thing about lady. Rubik count? One voice at a time, please. Go ahead, Steven. Uh We discovered uh, Mommy's golem slash uh, giant Amazon fetish. What do you mean, discovered? <laughs> like, the last person she shagged was either Velt or a dick girl elf, so... That's true. That's true. Well, she also confirmed that harpies were fun, so, you know, apparently your mother has a eclectic and delicious tastes. They are delicious, it's true. Uh, I suppose, overall, like, learning that there's some golem she created, like, on the fucking wonder out there. Yeah. Uh, did you make a new ally or a lasting enemy? No. Nope. Advance or complete a quest? No. No, not really. Mm. Uh, defeat a threat? Nope. Learn something new about a player character? I don't I think so the... this time. Yeah, the Tristan bully train continued, though not as much bully this time. No, it wasn't bully. You got like treated real nicely by lots of harpies. It's true. Uh, it that the two fair are very reckless when it comes to things to magic items. Yeah, that's not true. Me, but, I, well, actually, I suppose this is the first time you've seen them throw themselves into like a potential fucking throw themselves at, like a suicidal item. Yeah. Yep. I think I think that's warranted. Okay. All right, so that's three experience. All right, all right. Now that's that's some recognizable Borks numbers. Yeah, it's more than you deserved. No, it was fine. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, sure, we didn't really do much this session, so you know. Yeah. My apologies. Well, but okay. you're you're in like the ending throws now to the end of the season, but you're also traveling through a whole bunch of like core key point zones. So I'm trying to like to not miss anything. Yeah, look, let, let me tell you about traveling through the last few days of the season. Huge. Uh, poor seventy party. God, we yeah. could have gone. We could have just gone to a party. You could have, but you didn't. S such huge blue balls. I'm at uh, 103 experience. Nice. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, Pat. pets. Congratulations, I guess. Hey, I All right. Out of this. <laughs> if you're watching on the stream or YouTube, thanks for tuning in. We will see you in uh, three and a half-ish hours for uh, Mers and Hammer. Till then, yes. do take care.